Hey, thanks for joining me today. You're listening to The Sit Down with Roman Gray. It feels like ever since I turned 23, I've drastically entered the infamous adulthood. Since turning 23 and thereafter, it feels like adult life has picked up speed and it's only getting faster. Now I hear my friends talking about buying houses, starting families, the new carpet they just bought that they're excited about. It's kind of scary. And right now, as of this recording, I'm currently 24. And it's crazy to think I'll be a quarter century. But instead of having a quarter life crisis, it's going to be an ongoing crisis since it feels like I've been having one since I was 21. I've been thinking a lot about love, family, and even marriage. It's uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of gross to think that whenever I hear or see a group of young kids, I'm just like, "Uh, that's so cringe." And then I just think to myself, that's how I used to act at one point when I was that age. I know that for me, or maybe even all of you guys, it feels like the pressure to be successful and dominant is only getting heavier. I feel the need more and more to be assertive and get somewhere. There's a lot of weird feelings and pressures that I've noticed begin to bubble up as you get older. That fear of not being in a career or building something that is meaningful and fulfilling is more apparent. That realization that the majority of people really do work jobs they don't like and work those jobs because they have to. It's a very, very scary thing to realize. I'm realizing now that most of my peers are just doing things or are in certain jobs just for money or just because they think it's going to get them recognized. Another thing I've been experiencing a lot is, for lack of a better word, being a softie. It feels like I just get more and more scared of the future and somehow more and more nostalgic of my past. I've become more sentimental. Maybe that just happens to a lot of us as we grow and have more and more life experiences. It's so weird because now I definitely feel for adults because I see so much of the things that we as adults have to endure just by simply being alive and trying to be fulfilled. That feeling of less and less opportunity is definitely alive and well. It feels like I'm already late to so many things and the window for so many other things is closing. And I just, I want to apologize in advance if it feels like this episode is me venting. You might be right to some extent, so just bear with me. I think balance is definitely something that comes with age. Balancing your own thoughts in the midst of such a fast-paced and dizzying world is very hard. Balancing your wants and desires while also those of your partner or family. Finding time and space not only to live and grow as a person, but also work and have the type of life that you really want to live. I appreciate the love and relationships I have in my life a lot. Way more than I ever have before. The feelings of loneliness and loss are felt a lot more as I've gotten older. So that has made me cherish all my relationships so much more. Especially because the longer you live, the more you realize really just how crazy this world is. And the likelihood of almost anything happening is just, it's crazy. More often than not, I find myself just wanting love, but also solitude and fulfillment. 
it's insane to think there are people my age getting married, already having kids, talking about legacy, and a million other things. The plate of shit that I feel I have to do or will do or need to do is just mounting by the day. Becoming an adult, it's just, it's a very weird and uneasy process. It feels like being an adult, or maybe I should say becoming an adult, is in many ways just as scary and uncertain as the world felt when I was a little boy or even a teenager. At this age, it's, it's this weird scale of you trying to balance. You know, it's this balance of like, okay, I'm definitely older, but not that old. You know, and I'm young, but but definitely not that young. People telling you, oh, you're so young and you still have all this time. And then <laughs> you have this other group of people kind of looking at you sideways like, you're already this old now. You know, you should really start thinking about X, Y, and Z. I think the best line to sum that up is, you're already 24, but at the same time, you're only 24. The fear of survival and wanting to live a comfortable life has grown exponentially in just the past year. And just nothing prepares you for that. This is definitely that age or time when you realize that all the people you called older were not actually old. And that all those quote unquote adults that had life figured out is laughable. And now I just find myself battling these feelings of, you know, will I ever feel truly satisfied? Do I just come to terms with the fact that I might never be satisfied, but somehow let that drive me? Or am I just okay? Do I just let myself be okay with that feeling? Have you ever did that thing when you were younger? where you took an empty water bottle and you twist it and you just keep twisting and twisting and you build up pressure in this empty water bottle until you finally can't twist it anymore and then you unscrew the cap and the cap goes flying because of all that built up pressure. It's kind of what it feels like for me right now. Just all these feelings and ideas of what I was led to believe or thought life would be like, you know, but maybe that's nobody else's fault other than my own. And money, ugh, money. I hate, I hate to say this, but it's only become more important as I've gotten older. And it's just, it's so sad. It's so sad, but at the same time, it's the truth. The mounting heaviness of having to survive or choosing what I really love, it's a very scary reality. I don't like how it feels like my mind is somehow slowly shifting from all my passions and ideas to money and status. It's an, it's just, it feels so ugly. I, I, I can feel all the things that give us our sense of excitement and wonder. I can feel it slowly leaving my body and somehow getting replaced by these less fulfilling and just not worth it values and ideas. It's like, ah, oh my God, damn, why is becoming an adult filled with having to settle? You know, why has life become a nonstop worry of concern? Uh, I mean, maybe... Maybe it's just me that feels these things, or perhaps it doesn't help that I am a bit of a chronic overthinker, so I'm sure that doesn't help either, you know, but sometimes it's hard to admit that just, I, I don't know. You know, I'm sure these feelings will only continue to evolve and change as life moves forward, but, you know, despite everything I've said in this episode, the one positive is that life does only move forward. It only knows growth 
but it only knows what's ahead. We can't move time backwards. Hey guys, I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it so much. Please don't forget to support me by visiting my website, itsromangray.com, as well as follow me on Twitter and Instagram at itsromangray. I love all of you so much just for being here and supporting me. It means everything. Thank you so much. And until next time.